Majority Leader Pepin, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And we'll start with this. How would you describe the state of the state in January of 2017? The state of the state is good. We still have things we have to work on, and in particular, and first and foremost, is the health care reform that we need to pass through the session. And what do you hope to hear when Governor Dayton gives his state of the state address? Well, I hope to hear some of the things that he wants to work on, and I want to hear a positive tone that he wants to work together with the legislature. And um, I'm hoping he'll talk about the need to work on health care reform, tax relief, um, transportation funding, roads and bridges, things like that. But mostly just the tone that, that he's open and willing to work through the process with the legislature. And how much does what the governor says in his address affect the thinking or approach of your caucus over the next four months of session? I think the tone he sets is really important, so I'm really hoping that he will set a positive tone and that he will agree to work through the process and make sure his agency comes along and uh, gives us feedback on the bills as they're moving through the process. Republicans and DFLers have their differences on many issues, but have already shown bipartisanship on the tax conformity bill that was signed into law. Do you see any other areas for bipartisan support this session? You know, I do. I hope, I hope that we can work through a real ID bill. Um, I hope that both sides really truly want to work on health care reform so that we can take care of Minnesotans. Um, road and bridge funding, of course, still needs work. I think that's something that we can work on in, in tax relief. I really hope that we can have bipartisan uh, work on tax relief. We do have a surplus and uh, we want, want to make sure that we're helping out Minnesotans so that we can keep the economy humming along. Governor Dayton has proposed a $1.5 billion bonding bill that he says would create 22,000 jobs across the state. He's encouraging swift passage. Does the Republican caucus have a stance on this proposal? Well, you know, the Capital Investment Committee is going to look through the proposals all sessions. Um, we'll have lots of hearings on it. They'll also do hearings this summer uh, if, if nothing happens this session. And traditionally, as you know, this, those bills are traditionally done in the, um, the second year, the even year. So the odd year is normally a budget year. So we'll, but they'll look at it and, and work through the proposals and, and see what happens. Mm -hmm.